So Pastor Tom here, and this crowd is in Southern California, Orange County, and we're at Doheny Beach, right? Yep. And we're going to go out and pray for people right now, and God's going to do fantastic miracles. Amen. You ready to go? Okay. Yeah. So Let's do Tom it. Here. And this is Eva. And Kristen. This is Kristen. This is Lyndon. We just met Lyndon. We're at Doheny Beach, right? Yep. There it is. Yeah, yeah. And Lyndon, we saw this, and we couldn't miss that. Mm -hmm. But Lyndon's got a lot more than that. Lyndon has wounds in this foot that are not completely healed, and it's got pain. He's got wounds in that foot that are not completely healed, it's got pain. He's got uh, damage to this knee, torn, what, N meniscus or something? Meniscus, yeah. Yeah, he's got pain. He's got pain in his neck and pain in his back, but he said the greatest pain is the pain in his neck, so that's the one we're going to go for first. Now, Lyndon, what's your pain level, 1 through 10, in your neck right now? Right now, it's 4. Okay. So... Christian's going to put her hand on your neck, and you direct her a little bit. Say right, left, up, down. That's good, right, right there. That's right yeah. there. Okay, so here's the deal, Tom. Is Jesus going to take all your pain and all your places away? Okay, now if that happened, you'd have to say that's a miracle. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. So, Tom, here's what I want you to do. Two things. Lyndon. Oh, Lyndon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's Tom. Tom. <laughs> Lyndon, I want you to do this. Is don't pray, just receive. Okay, yeah. so just relax, receive. And number two... After she takes her hand off, we're going to have you look for the pain. Be completely honest. Don't be nice. I already feel this calmness coming over Yeah, right yeah. Be, don't be nice afterwards. Be honest. Yeah. You ready? I'm not kidding you. I feel Kristen. Calmness. Yeah. So just relax then, Tom. Or uh, Lyndon. Go ahead, Kristen. Lyndon. Eyes open. God does not want you to have this pain. Yeah. He died for our sins to save us, to heal us, to make us feel whole. I demand the pain as your neck right now. It must go. All the nerves in your back must align together. You must feel no pain as you are healed through his stripes as he died for you on the cross. Say right now. Right now. This part where you pause and don't think. Just hold your hand there for a minute. Hold your hand. Hold your hand there. What are you feeling, Lyndon? So awesome. Dude. Hold on for a minute. It's gonna get better. It's gonna go from I the feel top like of your. I took a painkiller or something. Yeah. And yeah. It's all gone. Yeah. I'm not kidding. It's gonna go right down your spine. It's gonna go down to your legs a little bit. Hang on. Yes. I'm not kidding you. This is amazing. Hold your hand there. Tell all the pain in his knees and his yes. feet to go right now. All the pain down through your spine, through your knees, through your feet, that pain must go. Now. Now. Just relax. Now I'm gonna just say this. All the open wounds that are in these two feet, I command you to be completely healed right now. All of it close up, seal up, no more oozing, no more infection, now. Brand new skin now. Okay, Lyndon, I want you to be completely honest. Take your hand off. Look for the pain in your neck. Move it around. It's gone. It's gone. It's totally Look gone, for the pain bro. in your back. Look for the pain in your back, Lyndon. I don't feel any pain. Do you have pain in your knee right now? Look for it. Really, no. be honest. No? No. Pain in your feet? A little tiny bit in this foot. Okay. A little bit in this foot. Not that foot? No. What's the pain level? One through ten? Two. Perfect. Go ahead. Command the two to go. Dear Jesus, I command this pain in his foot to go now. It's gone. It's gone? Yeah. <laughs> Lyndon. I don't feel it. The pain, the pain went right away when you said that. Lyndon, you know Jesus, yes? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. And you know him as a healer. Yes. Yes. And all your stuff, Lyndon, you're going to walk. You're not going to have pain. Do you want to try anything out, Lyndon? Huh? You want to try anything out? You want to stand or anything and check it out? Oh, no, I'm good. No, well, I'm Go ahead, good. stand up. Yeah, I'm good, man. Especially my neck. I was, when you weren't even praying yet. Just you your felt hand, her hand on it. It's starting with I, this yeah. warmth and then yeah. the, this 
feeling started to go like this and radiate yeah down when you were just not even praying that's that. right you know why because the bible is true and it says this that's right these signs shall follow them that believe they'll lay their hands on the sick and they'll recover she laid her hands on you and you started to feel the healing yeah <laughs> hey linda you know what god loves you man yeah i love you Todd. yeah thank you so much brother. bless you brother yeah awesome. bless you brother that's thank so you. awesome yeah. bless you <laughs> now tom tom's re yeah. filming all this tom you were easy to tom spot. do you have any pain in your body no you don't no. tom do you ever have um lower back problems tom oh my gosh, dude. no you don't okay no, i just got hip surgery so you got hips and your hips okay now Amazing. Unbelievable. Good, good. All right, brother. Yeah, just, like a, just like a whole new person. You are a new person, man. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. Praise, Praise God. God is good. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Lord. Amen. Amen. Have Amen. Holy Spirit. Hey. Wonderful Have a wonderful day, man. God bless you. Yeah. Keep praising Jesus. So is that your church is up there in Seattle? <laughs> no, that's the church is here in town. We're here yeah. in town. Yeah. He's, he's, at data point? We're at, in um, Laguna Hills. Where did I put that card? Well, we'll give you another, another if you want. Yeah, yeah give him another. So, yeah. so, oh, I work, yeah, I work Linden, here. Lyndon, here's uh, if you have more interest in like, yeah. like the ministry oh, that I do around the world, okay? You can go yeah. on my, YouTube and look up my it. name, Tom Loud, uh, L O U D. Is that here? No, no I'm just telling you. Just okay. look up Tom Loud. You my, can do it right after me. Yeah. Yeah. Look up Tom Loud on YouTube. L O U D, just like the word loud. Loud. And you'll find all kinds of videos of teaching on how to pray for people and also lots of healings like this right yes here. okay absolutely god bless you brother god bless you. it's a good day huh so it's a good yes, day <laughs> bless you so glad you guys spotted me yeah i'm yeah. so glad okay. thank you amen so made, made our day yeah. made our day amen oh, made my day uh, amen uh, amen uh, amen uh, god is good feels good yeah. everything feels uh, great <laughs> see see ava was that worth it yeah he's been so my church i did a prayer request yeah Things yeah. have gotten better. I didn't have a place to I live. Yeah, yeah. I was, you know, going to be homeless. So yeah. all of a sudden, God, you know, when God opens the door and says, your actually your prayer gets answered. Yeah, yeah. You don't ask how or why. Yeah. So my friend, her name's Gina, and she just goes, I, she felt it in her heart to open her home to me. That's right. So I'm good. just staying there right now. Lord, it's good. He's providing for you. Two weeks ago, I moved in there. Yeah. And yeah. Amen. Amen. And I'm like going. What's God's there? God, because God loves you, man. He's watching yeah. over you. Yes. He didn't forget about yeah. you. Tom here again awesome. at Doheny <laughs> Beach. And what's your name? Yeah. Julia Ward. Julia? Yeah. Julia. So Julia, we asked these folks if they had any pain, and they said we all got pain. So <laughs> this is a divine appointment. So Julia, what's your pain? Where is it at? I would say it's grief. Okay. Oh. So your pain's emotional pain. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll pray for that. Is is there no physical pain at all? No. Nope. All right. We'll pray for that. So you got pain in your heart. Your heart's been wounded, okay? Probably usually by a person. <laughs> you know, that's usually how we get wounded by people. Um, is it is is your grief pretty deep? Is it a pretty deep grieving process? You don't have to explain to it if yeah. you don't want to. It's okay. I don't want to explain you that's you don't yeah. have to. Yeah. You don't yeah. have to. So here's what I want you to do. Um, we're gonna say that's a pain in your heart. Yeah, we want you to put your hands right there. Okay. okay? Now, Eva, you're gonna put your hand right on here. Okay. Now. One more time with your name? Julie. 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 So, Ava, do you know what to pray or do you want a little direction? Uh, maybe after you. Okay. So, Ava, say this. Say, Heavenly Father, I know you love Julie. Heavenly Father, I know you love Julie. And you don't want her to have this pain. And you don't want she has this pain. So, right now, we speak to this pain in her heart. And right now, please talk to to her pain in her heart. And we say pain. We say pain. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Heart be mended in Jesus' name. Heart be mended in Jesus' name. Emotions be healed right now in Jesus' name. Emotions be healed in Jesus' name right now. All grieving. All grieving. All pain. All pain. All sorrow. All sorrow. Go now, all of it. Go now. In the name of Jesus. And I release the peace of Jesus. And I release the peace of Jesus into Julie's heart now. In, Ju in Julie's heart now. Now Thank just you. just be quiet for a minute. Just be really quiet for a minute. Just be quiet for a minute. Just be quiet. For a minute. Just don't make it so I wonder what's going on. They won't understand. No, no, please don't cut those right now, Harper. Not yet. I felt it. Amen. So Julie, Julie, physical pain's easier to measure. How do you feel? How do you feel? 
really amazing. That you feel was, amazing. Yeah. You feel amazing. That, All like, right. Honestly, like, was kind of a weird. Yeah. Like, it's the Holy Spirit. I, I haven't. Yeah. It's the I Holy Spirit. I haven't had that lifted over me in a while. That's awesome. That's awesome. And what's your pain? <laughs> Emotional. Emotional too. Family, trauma. Yeah, okay. All right. It's, it's never coincidence. Yeah, because I feel like my, uh, my, um, but our, our my uncle, who is like my father, is yeah. going into brain surgery I next understand. Friday. Yeah, we'll pray for him too. For um, a brain tumor they found. Understand. So, and one more time with your name? Risha. Risha? Risha. Rochelle, yeah. Rochelle. Okay, you're gonna pray for Rochelle. So put your hand like on your heart. So she has some emotional pain and you know, she's been going through some things as well as we're gonna pray for her uh, father. My uncle. Uncle, her yeah. uncle. Well, we're gonna start with her emotional pain um, just like we did for that. What's his Steve. name? Steve. Steve, okay, so you ready? Uh -huh. You go ahead, you know how to pray this, right? I don't. Okay. Rochelle. Mm -hmm. Rochelle. You, Rochelle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know how to pray then? Okay, so say this. Rochelle, just close your eyes and just receive. Don't yeah, even pray. Yeah. Say, Heavenly Father, I thank you for Rochelle. Heavenly Father, I thank you for Rochelle. I know that you love her and you don't want her to have this pain. I know you love her and you don't want her to have this pain. So right now, I just speak to her heart. I speak to your heart. I say, heart be healed right now. Heart be healed. Emotions that have been torn be healed right now. Emotions that have been torn be healed now. This burden of grief. This burden of grief. <laughs> depart now, go. Depart now, go. All of it. All of it. And right now I release the joy of the Holy Spirit. And right now I release the joy of the Holy Spirit. And the peace of God. And the peace of God. Into Rochelle's heart. Into Rochelle's heart. No more anxiety. No more anxiety. No more worry. No more worry. No more sleepless nights. No more sleepless no nights. No more pain. No more pain. Right now. Right now. And just relax from it. Just be quiet. Silent. We're still going to pray for your uncle. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. But, but right now. Be honest. Just be honest. What do you feel right now? Um, a lot of like release. A lot of release. Yeah. Uh, hard emotions. I've been feeling. So, what's your uncle's name again? Steve. Okay, I'm gonna pray for him right now. And I'm gonna give you something. I'm gonna give you a card because uh, you know the Bible very well. Not a whole lot. Okay. So in the Bible, there was a time where the Apostle Paul he prayed over pieces of cloth and it was taken to sick people and laid upon them and they got healed. I'm going to give you a business card we're going to pray for. Okay. You can give it to him. So your Uncle Steve. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for Uncle Steve. We know that you love him. And he's in the hospital right now, and he's going to get surgery for a brain tumor. And we just speak right now over that tumor. We curse that tumor at its root. We command it to release Steve, get off of his body. Go now in Jesus' name. We speak complete healing and restoration to his brain right now in Jesus' name, and that this will not be the end of Steve's life, but a start of a brand new life for Steve. He will be in health again. He'll be full, fully restored to health again, yes. and he will have a testimony that Jesus touched him and healed him. And we thank you for that, Father, in Jesus' name. Yeah. So here's what I'm gonna do, Rochelle, right now. In Jesus' name, we just impart all the healing power of Jesus into this card right here. You give that to him, tell him to hold it, okay? Now, this man. Oh, this man, this is the man. What's up, guys? You said you had pain in your body, right? Uh, every day, brother. Where's your pain at? <laughs> so, uh, physically or yeah. mentally? Well, we'll go physical first. Uh, it's all nothing physical. <laughs> no, it's all mental. Okay, well, I Jesus. Mean, you know, um, Jesus heals that kind of pain, too. I love it, I love it. Hang on a second. Let's try to get this. He'll okay, catch. Oh, all right. But thank yeah. you. We'll thank pray for you, you right now. Yes. Right, What's your name? Good. Timothy. Good? Timothy. Yeah. So Timothy, you got some you emotional pain. You want to pray? Yeah. Okay, what is it? Is it just emotional? Yeah, just everyday life. Just stress. Got gotcha. you. Know, the stress. Right on the business. And you got a business? Right What's that? Come you got a business? Yes, sir. And yeah, and it's it's kind of a burden right now. Like it's not going great or something? No, everything's going well, but the, my father's getting a little older, and he, went, he was in the hospital a little bit earlier this week. I understand. You know, and he was, you know, was going through some some other pain and stuff like that. I understand. And, and worry, he was worried, you yeah. know. And that's putting six. stress on you. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Dad, do you feel good? Yeah. <laughs> it's catching. All right, Timothy, let's but pray yeah. for you. Yeah, yeah. So, Heavenly Father, I just thank you for Timothy. I know that you love him. And you see all the problems and the anxiety he's going through. 
He's carrying the load of what his father's going through. He's carrying the load of his business, the load of his uh, providing for his family. And we just pray a blessing over him right now. We just say right now, all this anxiety, all this burden, all this weight that's upon his heart, we command the weight to lift in Jesus' name right now. We know that you love him and you want him to have your peace. We just release your peace, your joy, and even uh, the settle settling of his mind right now. There won't be all that turmoil in his mind, but it'll have peace mm -hmm. in his thoughts. Peace in his mind and confidence that you have everything in control right now in Jesus' name. All that weight, go now. Every burden, go now. Peace right now in Jesus' name. Love. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor. Amen. You're yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah, we're so, so, God we're, bless you. We're so grateful that you guys Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. We're glad we did too. Yeah. God bless you. God bless you. Yeah. Can we send a prayer to get my fire started? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to say? Oh, that's good. See, it's a good night now, isn't it? <laughs> like, I've never, I hadn't felt, I don't know. I've been yeah. asking kind of like to surrender and yeah. certain things. And that was it's the Holy amazing. Spirit. Yeah, the Holy yeah, that was Jesus knew you'd be here. He knew we'd be here. I mean, I came all the way from Seattle just for being here today. Like, and he, Jesus knew. Jesus knew. God bless you. Bless you too. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Keep spreading your word. We will do it. We will do it. We will do it. Because you know what? Now it's on fire. And Amen. You know, I'm sure my husband feels that too. Amen. Amen. That. It's, on it's on fire. God bless you guys. Bye -bye. And we're in a mall. And what do you call this mall? Mission Viejo Mall. We were just messed. Alpha. Is that right? Alpha. Alpha. So Alpha had cancer and she had some surgery. And we asked her if she has any pain. And Desi's going to pray for her because Alpha says, in this, is it the wrist? Yeah. In this wrist, the pain is, did you say eight out of ten? Eight. Eight. So Desi's going to pray for and her. Also in my back. We'll pray for your back I too. Have a surgery in my back all the way. We will pray for your back too. So I'm going to say something a little bit outrageous. Desi's going to pray for you and God's going to take all your pain away. Just like that. I hope so. Yeah, yeah. So here's what you need to do. What? Alpha is you just relax, let her pray, uh -huh. and then, this is somebody with you, right? My daughter. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. So, you let her pray, and then afterwards, I want you to test it out and be honest, okay? All right, you ready, Desi? Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Alpha, Jesus loves you. He sent us today because he knew you need him to bring healing to your body. He loves you so much. He knows everything you've gone through. And today we pray in God's name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit, we pray for freedom, for healing, for breakthrough, and a renewal of the mind, the heart. And in Jesus' name, we command this pain to go right now. In the powerful name of Jesus, every part of the body that's not working right to go back to normal, the way it was created, for perfect, perfect sympathy that God created in Jesus' name right now. We speak life over you, Alpha. We speak life and blessings, the fire of God going through your body, healing every cell, every bone, every ligament, everything that's not right is getting renewed in you right now because of the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, now Alpha. I want you to be really honest. Look for the pain and tell me where it's at. Look for it. Look for it. It's all gone. It's all gone. Yeah, what's the number now? Six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want a break? Sure. Father, I just thank you for Alpha. Right now, I just pray for this wrist. I command every muscle, tendon, ligament, nerve be healed. All pain in this body, I curse you. Go now, all of it. I'll have to look for the pain. What is it now, Arthur? Yeah? No better. That's 
feel better and then again, you know, because I can't do it. Oh, you can't do that? Is that what hurts no, when you do that? Okay. Oh, you couldn't do that before? You can do no, that now? It was today hurt. It's Does that hurt now? Ouch. Where's it hurt? Where's it hurt? Here. Right here? Yeah. You can touch that right there. It's not good. Thank you, Father, for off. Uh, right now, I just speak to all this pain, every muscle, every tendon, every ligament, every nerve. Be healed now. Pain, I curse you. I command you to go to the pit of hell. Now all pain, go now. All of it. Everything be restored to the way it was before the sickness. In Jesus' name. Go ahead, Alva. Move it around a little bit. Move it Better. What is the number now, Alpha? No, number. Move, move around a little bit. Give it. Give us a number. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sometimes it's very hard. To eat, sometimes it's okay. Yeah. Do you have any? My hair is very nice. Do you have any pain right now, there, Alpha? Yeah, I have. How much? I have pain, but not how much right now? How much? It's the same here. Just in that one spot? Yeah. Right there? Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you, Father, for what you've already done for Afa. But we want 100%. Any arthritis, any uh, torn ligaments, any, any problems of any kind with the ligaments or the bones or the nerves, be healed right now. Everything knit back together. All pain, go. All arthritis, go now. All of it. In Jesus' name. Good, try it. Okay. Try it. Yeah, it's better. It's better? Yeah, it's better. What's the pain level? Uh -huh. At this moment, at this moment. Two, one, zero. Okay. Oh, almost two. Two? Do you know, Alpha, when we started, you said an eight. Now it's a two. Yeah. That's a lot better. Is it still hurt right there? Yeah. Thank you, Father. It'll go all the way up. Thank you, Father, for taking that pain from an eight to a two. And now I speak to the two. What? Two? Yeah, I curse two. you. Go now. All of it. Every bit. I command a zero right now in Jesus' name. All right, Alpha. Look okay, for it one more time. You. Look for it again, Alpha. Okay. Well, It's okay? Yeah. Do you have any pain? Yeah, sometimes, 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 no. Do you have any pain right now? No. Mm, no. It's no. <laughs> okay. So, Afa, I'm just letting you know, I know you have a son that's a Christian. I know that. So, Afa, uh, you tell him what happened today. Tell him that... Jesus took your pain away, okay? Hey, thanks for letting us pray for you, Alpha. Thank okay? You very much. God bless you. Greetings and God bless you, YouTube family. It's good to be here with you today. I have a couple of announcements. First of all, I want to clear up something just in case people have thought something that was not true. I have never monetized this YouTube channel. I have not allowed YouTube to put ads on my videos to make money. And I still do not do that today, but things have changed. It used to be that if you did not monetize your channel, you wouldn't make money, but also they would not put uh, different ads on your videos. But now they are tagging ads onto my videos and I can do nothing about that, it seems. But because YouTube is a free service, I'm glad just to get the word out there. So I'm still doing it, but if you see an ad, it's not for me and I have not okayed that. It's just the way things are right now. So. That being said, I do have an announcement for you. Uh, it's a really big announcement to me. It's important. And I want you to really pay attention, okay? I have had people throughout the years tell me that these teachings on YouTube have really helped them to step out and walk in the things of God in a more powerful way, in a way that reaches the lost, in a way that uh, uh, brings the miraculous to pass at the hands of just the average believer. So. 
That is what I want to do. I want to spread the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God is spread not just in word only, but also in signs and wonders. And I want you to know that if you're a believer in Christ, you have the ability to do these signs and wonders in the name of Jesus. You have the ability to pray for the sick and see them healed in Jesus' name. And you have the ability to reach out to strangers and powerfully impact them for the kingdom of God. So people have said to me, well, I've learned a lot from this video and from that video. Could you put them all in one place? Well, all the videos on this channel are free and all the information that I have to give you is on this channel and it's for free if you want to go and mine those videos. There's about 450 videos, so there's a little piece here and a little piece there. It's just the way it is. That's the way it came to me. But uh, people have asked me, could I put it in one place? Well, during the COVID crisis, I had some time on my hands and I was praying and the Lord said, write it down. So I'm not a uh, professional publisher. I don't know how to publish a book. So what I did was I wrote it down. I submitted it to a professional publisher and now that book has been published. It's called Unlocking Kingdom Power. You can find this book on Amazon and um, getting this book will get you all the information you need in one place so that you can teach it to others so that you can experience God's miracles yourself. My purpose is not to make a million dollars. My purpose is to save a million souls, to reach a million of the unreached. And we can do that through the power of God. Each and every individual in every church of every denomination can stand up get out of the pew, go out into the streets, into the marketplace, reach out to people and show the miraculous signs of God in people's lives. And this is the greatest witnessing tool there is because you can speak words and everybody has a, a sermon to preach, so to speak. Every, every culture, every uh, denomination, every religion has something to say and people can go, oh, that's good, that's, that's really good. But you know what? When we stand out there and we preach the word of God from the Holy Bible, we want to do it with the power of God backing us up with signs and wonders because those declare the truth of the word that we preach. So I want you to step out there. I want to see you and I want you to collect uh, people around you, people in your congregation, people in your churches, people in your prayer groups, collect them, get them together, teach them this information and get out there and proclaim the kingdom of God. I want to see in my heart, I really want to see a worldwide wave of God's spirit move in such a way as the Lord spoke to me one time prophetically that he would do, which is this. Uh, used to be a time where people would have uh, the man came to town who had the gift of healing. He would stand on the stage and everybody would go to that man because he's the one who could heal them. And Lord told me, I'm going to do away with the one man show. And I'm going to change it to where all of my people will stand up and they will go out and they will be able to perform the signs and wonders and miracles so that the glory will not go to one man, but to God's church, to God's body, so that Jesus Christ will get all the glory in the end. So join with me in bringing God's great movement, his kingdom movement into this world right now. Uh, if you like, buy this book. Now, I don't say buy this book and keep it on your shelf. Buy this book, read this book, apply the principles, teach the principles all over to everyone you can find. Then wear the book out, hand it to somebody else, hand it to somebody else, hand it to somebody else until all the pages are worn so that people all over the world will learn how to do these things because I have seen the kingdom of God come into people's lives who didn't even believe in God. People that were atheists, they were convinced that God was real simply because God performed a miracle in their life. And that's the difference. So you can make the difference. You can be part of a great worldwide army of God's people stepping out in faith and performing great and mighty signs and wonders for the name of Jesus in the upbuilding of the kingdom of God. So join me in this, in Jesus' name. Thank you. I hope you get the book. Uh, but if not, you know, you mind those videos and you get all those resources off there and you begin to teach that to those people around you, those people that believe in Jesus Christ, so that we can all step out and do the things which God has called us to do. In Jesus' name, amen.